everyone. So I was at my parents' house last night and my sister is staying with them for a little bit. And so she had cleaned out one of the closets downstairs to kind of make room for some of her clothes and things like that. And so she had a bunch of my brother's stuff moved out of there because um, lastly, it was my brother's room. So there's three bedrooms downstairs and I think each of us were in one of those rooms um, at some point or another. We kind of did room swapping. I don't know if you guys all did that with your siblings, but I remember one time I even traded my brother like a desk to get his room. I don't know why I wanted to switch rooms. I'm sure there was some reason, but we traded rooms a lot. So I still have stuff in, well, really in just two of the three rooms, um, stuff from my childhood, stuff from high school, stuff from college. And there's a lot of it there. And, you know, I try to, when I go back, just maybe slowly grab a few things, slowly grab uh, go through a few things to kind of help my parents out. But in this case, I felt bad because Chelsea had moved a bunch of Chance's stuff out that Chance has to go through. And she hadn't really taken any of my stuff out. And so I went in there and I grabbed a couple of boxes to try to give her a few, a little bit more room. And one of them was this box. This is just a little box. But it says Ariel's Art from People. I have no idea what's in this box. And I taped it up. I taped it up real good whenever, whenever I did this. Can you see that? And so I wanted to um, unbox it and record it just to kind of see um, what was in, <laughs> what's in this because I don't even know. I don't even know what to expect. So I'm going to open it up. Kind of nervous. What art from people did I save? Okay, so this is just a bag that has says my name on it. So someone printed out um, a piece of paper with Ariel all over it. it. Made me a little bag. That's really nice. I have no idea who did that. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So this says. When a boy kisses you, where do you put your nose? How do you breathe? Do you keep your eyes open? What do you do with your hands? Do you say thank you afterward? And it's like this cute little drawing. That's hilarious. It doesn't say who did this one either though. That's really cute. Oh, and this is a fault. This is the useful stuff they should teach us in school. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I wonder I wonder who did this. It's really good. Seems like maybe Chelsea did this. She's really good at drawing, but I don't know. I have, I do not remember. Then this one says Ariel and of course has the Powerpuff Girls on it because we love the Powerpuff Girls and I was Buttercup. And here's another drawing of it says Buttercup, Ariel, who, it doesn't say who did this. Number 10, because that was my basketball number. Oh. Okay, this is, this is Ariel High Jump. So that was from track. This is something that, He's obvious it's like a poem so I'm gonna take them all out and then I'll read the whole thing this one says long jump and this one says four by one relay this is like kind of a long poem it must have had it up at some point because there's like tape on it it's funny the stuff that we don't remember but what's obviously really important. Okay. This is a good poem. Um, let me put it in order here and then. Okay. Okay. So that's a poem. I'll read that. 
Um, okay, so this says, I am track and field, I am the weather and the people, I am the pain and the joy, I am the fame and the fortune, I am the shattered dreams, I am a high school hero, I am a national role model, I am a little known runner who will return next season. I am the sprinter, always running and never resting, reaching for my goal. I am the freshman who works harder than everyone else just to see my name on the record board. I am the senior that pushes my body to the limit and then pass, tearing my hamstring for a small piece of glory. I am the hurdler, stretching my muscles harder and farther each day. I am a senior out for the first time, the senior whose body can't take the daily punishment and is forced to drop out. I am the budding star who works harder than the others to get to the state meet, then falls in time trials. I am the girl who faces every race with a fear larger than any other in her life, just to stand in her place on the award stand. I am the distance runner doing what everyone else makes fun of, but no one else will do. I am the girl that ignores pain just for the recognition of a good time. I am the all-state performer that can't stand the pain and falls to the track. I am the jumper despite jumping despite the toll it takes on my body. I am the long jumper that continues jumping even though every jump worsens the stress fracture in my shin. Boy, is that true. I am the girl who works hard her whole high school career for a state record jump, and when she finally gets it, gets it she scratches it by one half inch. I am the freshman who puts everything he has into one single jump to qualify for state. I'm the thrower, throwing because I'm too slow or because I choose to be the brunt of many jokes. I'm the shot putter that expects all insults and does his best despite others cutting him down. I'm the javelin thrower whose second home is a weight room, always worker, working harder than everyone else. I'm the younger brother trying to be as good as my older brother and my father's expectations. I am track and field. I am the love that these people have for a cruel sport. I am the sacrifices that people make for a small medal and brief fame. I am the pain and the joy, the grief and the rapture. Above all, I am the people. I am the variety. I am the place where race doesn't matter. Skill is what sets you apart from others. I am from all kinds and all walks of life. I am the tall, thin distance runner. I am the short, stocky thrower. I am the natural athlete who is good at everything. I am the average person who must work for every inch of success that I achieve. I am the poor and the rich. I am the land where money doesn't matter. I am the white farm boy from Montana that runs for fun. I am the black city girl that runs to escape the inner city. I am the rich man's daughter who runs to prove she can do something without her father's money. I am the poor man's son who runs to gain fame and money to support his family. I'm the meets that are held despite the weather. I'm the records broken in the rain. I'm the bad performances on perfect days. I'm everything in between. I'm sunburn and windburn. I'm heat stroke and calm and cold. I'm the spectators that brave fierce weather to watch their hero, whether he be Michael Johnson or their own average child. I am all these things and more. I am world records and personal best. I am fun and play. I am hard work. I am loved and hated many times in the same instance. I am one against the rest. I am sacrificed for team points. I am track and field. So that was obviously something I really liked because I put it on, of course, like green and black construction paper for the Panthers. So that's a nice poem thing. I'll have to look and find out who did that. Okay, this is my name with watercolors. No idea. This is, it says, Strawberry Wine, 2001 Rules, Ariella, Bella, Llewellyn, Girl Power, Who Needs Dumb Boys Anyway? Pretty sure um, Alyssa made this. Might have been Sage, but I'm guessing it was Alyssa. <laughs> Alright, this is was made by Willow Sheehan. That's really good. It's a good little print. This is a girl running, Lucy from the Peanuts. Um, this says, I'm only happy when it rains. That's, remember that garbage song? I liked garbage a lot. 
And then this girl says, well, there's a bra on the flag post. And this girl says, oh my god, my bra! And then she says, oh my god, forget my bra, this is my favorite song. Oh, and that's Ariel saying that. She's only happy when it r rains, and guess what? It's raining. And then <laughs> these girls, this is Stacy and Lindsay and Emily, and they say, guys, I just had a great idea. Let's use her bra for a double barrel slingshot. And then this guy says, whoa, baby, and it says, weird little short guy with a beard. Um, who seems to be attracted to Ariel and her sexy brassiere. I have no idea. Must have been an inside joke. And then this says, white sulfur boys saluting your bra. Woohoo. This was by Stacy. I, that looks like Stacy. <laughs> this was your try. I think this is probably in junior high, though. I'm guessing. Because <laughs> that was the only time we saw white sulfur and three forks. Because TF means three forks. That's funny. I wonder. Okay, this says Yahoo greetings to Ariel Vogley, Ariel L1 at yahoo.com. Be optimistic. Don't be grumpy when the world is bumpy. Just smile, smile, smile. Thanks for taking me to the movies with you from Chelsea. So that was something nice that Chelsea sent me, and I printed out. This says Jesus Louise, I'm hot and you're not, but since you're the most popular girl, I give you one shot. Top that. We like boys. That was from one of our favorite movies. Rachel made this for me in two th the year 2000 from Teen Witch. We love that movie. <laughs> You'll recognize some quotes from that. And then this is, remember when we used to print things off like that from the computer? So funny. Clip art. Okay. And then this is a butterfly that was made by Miss Erin Holleran made that for me. It kind of looks like a print. And this is from Jesse Stovall. It's a parrot. That was a good job, Jesse. Oh, and then this one's from Erin, too. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. I love you lots. Aaron K. That's a pet thing. And that's it. That's my art from other people that I saved. So that was super fun. That was great. All right.